Hey, thanks for stopping by. Just got done building this cabinet. It is for my son. It's gonna go underneath his desk. Uh, it's for all his gaming and computer items in here. And then he's got a long speaker he's gonna put up there. It's got sliding doors, little dado slots. Where the doors can pop in and out in the dados. And uh, I, also, I thought this would be a great cabinet for the shop, just on the back, put a French cleat on there. If you want to see how I built it, stick around. All right, these are the two sheets of plywood where my doors are gonna go on the inside. So here's where I need to cut the dados. A couple dados up here for the doors, a couple dados down here for the doors. And uh, in order to get the doors in there, you have to cut the dados a little deeper on the top so you can stick them in and then they fall down onto the bottom dados. So just doing a little measurement here with my combination square, I figured that if I went 7 sixteenths, that would be a pretty good depth and still not really mess with the integrity of this board. There's still like four plies left up there. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna go a little under half of that. That was 7 sixteenths. So down here, I'm going to go 3 sixteenths. And I figure that's still enough depth where the door is not gonna easily pop out. Should be able to slide around okay. So here we go, let's cut some dados. For these dados, I'm only using the two dado blades. No chipper blades or spacers are needed. Using the two blades makes a quarter inch dado and the quarter inch plywood is really only about two tenths of an inch thick, which it works out great. All right, to make my first cut, uh, not only is the height gonna be 7 sixteenths, but if you take it from the outside and put that up against the fence, that also 7 sixteenths is gonna be perfect because that'll leave about a quarter inch gap on the other side of the saw blades there. Enough meat in there to make it good. All right, so again, this was 7 sixteenths. Now I'm gonna adjust it, and I'm gonna put it right at one inch this time. And now for the bottom board dados, do the exact same thing, except set the blade height to 3 sixteenths of an inch. So I put a little piece of uh, quarter inch plywood inside there and it is pretty smooth, but I feel a little bit of roughness. So I thought I would just take some sandpaper and wrap it around quarter inch piece of plywood and go through there and just kind of mostly try to sand out the bottom a little bit. All right, I just got everything all propped up here just to kind of show where we're at now. We got the dados in there ready to go. These are the depot da deeper dados. Um, to connect all these, we're just gonna use pocket holes. I'm just gonna put some pocket holes uh, down here from the bottom. I know that it's a little bit of a faux pas to do pocket holes to go up here, but we are gonna have a little lip here. My son requested that so things don't fall off from the top as easily. And we're just gonna put some pocket holes down here. And from the bottom, we'll actually go from the bottom. Here, I'm marking out two inches from all the edges. This is where I'm going to drill the pocket holes. Uh, sometimes I tend to go a little bit pocket hole crazy and start drilling holes all over the place. So marking them out uh, could save a little frustration. Hey, if you haven't done it already, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see more great woodworking videos. All right, we got our clamps in position. We're going to use pipe clamps for the bottom. We have other Harbor Freight clamps that we're going to put on the top here. And I went ahead uh, to help square it up, clamped on some squares in position. Still haven't put the glue on there. So now we just gotta put the glue on there, clamp it all down, 
and let it dry. Gonna make sure that the height here is perfectly the same. Uh, it came out to 12 inches and 3 eighths on this side, and we got it lined up to exactly the same on the other side. This is important because this is where the doors slide. If this is a little bit wonky, then the doors aren't gonna slide right. All right, we got the carcass all together. And I feel wrong saying carcass. I feel like that's almost as bad as saying Uber. But uh, now we need to cut the doors for the cabinet. And uh, so this measurement was a little bit over 12 inches, 12 and 3 eighths. And we need to cut the doors so they extend past that to go in the dados. If you remember, this bottom is 3 sixteenths. So we're going to cut 3 sixteenths over on the bottom and 3 sixteenths over on the top, which comes out to 3 eighths. So this measurement is 12 and 3 eighths plus 3 eighths. So that would make 12 and Four. what? Four. 6 eighths, which is two thirds. Two thirds? No, three fourths. Okay. Three fourths. All right. Alrighty, we got our board cut for the right height. I think that's gonna work fine. I can't put it in there right now because it's too wide. So now we need to cut the two doors. And our total width here is 21 inches. So half of that is 10 and a half. But if we cut our doors at 10 and a half, it's not gonna be quite right. We want them to overlap just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them at 11 inches. So then they'll overlap by about a half an inch. All right, now we get to test our fractions and our measurements. See if it works. Oh, slides good. Yes. Oh, look at that, beautiful. All right, for our finger pulls, we are measuring up eight inches and then over one inch. And then we're gonna cut a hole with a one inch Forstner bit. All right, this is gonna be the shelf. I'm gonna make it an adjustable shelf with the Craig shelf pin jig here. Uh, I could have just done another one of these and made the shelf exactly where I want it to be, but I, I like, always like the idea of it being adjustable. So when I cut everything at the beginning, I cut this shelf a little bit narrower so there's just a little bit of wiggle room so I can slide it in there easy and I cut it the same width as everything else so now I gotta figure out the exact width I need it to be so from the outside to where the first dado is it's just shy of seven inches For the back of the cabinet, we're using quarter inch plywood and adding a few inch and a quarter holes for the power cord. Then pre-drilling and attaching the back with three quarter inch wood screws.
And then finally finishing it off with a few coats of lacquer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.